welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new you're here, hi, my name is Callie. I am an online lifestyle coach and now a bodybuilding coach. I am just here to take you guys through my life and help you guys out. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I pack my meal prep, stay on track and on plan for all of the bodybuilding things. And you can definitely apply this for just regular living. I teach my clients these strategies as well for just regular lifestyle clients because if you wanna be successful, you gotta implement some new tactics. So this weekend, I am heading back to where I used to live and I'm gonna be hanging out with all the OG Georgetown girlies and celebrating Liz and Caitlin's birthday. So obviously I'm at home right now. I live in College Station currently and College Station is about like an hour 45, two-ish hours away from where I used to live. So that's where we're gonna be heading this weekend. It's gonna be a cutesy little short trip just because Liz has to work this weekend so we can only do so much. However, it's gonna be a fun one. So I'm gonna be taking you guys with. We're gonna be heading to the Cedar Park area to where Natalie is for a little while and hang out with them before we go to Liz's place because Liz works till like six. I am so excited to be taking you guys along today. I am currently doing some studying for my bodybuilding certification. Fun and dandy. We literally have filled basically this entire notebook of just straight handwritten notes and I honestly love that so we're just gonna keep on trucking along here if you guys of course want to see more of me make sure to follow me on Instagram because I post like every single day on my story on Instagram and I post like three to four times a week on my main feed you want to see more there absolutely head over there otherwise I also am now posting on TikTok again also here is this update on the bodybuilding journey my coach is taking me through a mini cut just because we want to reveal the muscle that we have beneath all the body fat because the girl took a break from bodybuilding for a while so we definitely put on a little bit more body fat which is fine i weighed in today at 131.5 my lowest weigh-in was like two days ago at 131 um i have a guess that my coach is going to take my calories down just a little bit because i'm at like 1985 calories i think and i've been eating the exact same thing every single day so i'll probably just decrease portion sizes a little bit but you can see chase <laughs> I'm chilling in the background so this is what we're looking like Ooh. yet again just chase chilling there so funny we're gonna keep the booty out of that so you guys can see that let me show you all the graph there's the graph this is where I started we built up and now we're cutting down so you can see lots of fluctuation your girl was like highly stressed in this little area when i had the low weigh-ins those are solid but this week kind of just been around maintenance so so he has a business meeting uh on this fine saturday and then we're gonna go to the gym i have legs i don't know if i'm gonna record Okay, friends, so right here, Chase was about to be gone for the day, so I just took his meal preps and was taking the time to, one, make him lunch after the gym super quick. This was a steak and rice burrito that I made for him, and then he also has steak Alfredo and then just a protein shake. And while that is heating up, I'm just getting my Tupperware out that I'm going to be packing for the weekend and then I'm quickly packing up his stuff right here in the lunchbox since he's just going to be gone for the rest of the day whereas I'm going to be gone overnight so I'm going to be packing myself a bigger cooler so I'm going to be taking all of my own containers and just putting all of my ingredients into them I do not change anything on a day-to-day -day basis unless my coach lets me know like hey we're gonna be switching some stuff up I always say failure to prepare is preparing to fail. So that is definitely carrying out here. Um, I have these goals that I wanna hit, especially nutrition wise. So I'm planning way far in advance to be hitting my goals. And if you wanna see my meal prep of this in my last video, you gotta go ahead and watch there to see exactly what foods I'm making myself. What I do know is that I'm gonna need a lunch and a dinner for when I'm gone, lunch for the next day, dinner for this current night. So I am packing two of my main lunch and dinner meals and then I also also need breakfast so I'm packing up some cottage cheese as well um, with some strawberries honey and dark chocolate chips but I don't put the honey and dark chocolate chips in until after the fact just because I'm weird about texture and then just to keep things simple I just made myself a meal even though I'm not necessarily super hungry right now I was like I would rather just eat it now than packing another thing and eating it on the road so I made myself my own meal right then and there what are you doing there huh? what are you doing it's for you. put me in it <laughs> The hubby wanted to be in this. First, you take the sour cream thingy <clears throat> and you squirt it on there. <laughs> Rating? Yep. Good. Good? Out of 10? Mm -hmm. It's good. <laughs> we have Alfredo, a fork, 
and a protein shake in here. Do you need anything else? And like I was saying, I have a bigger cooler, so I just packed all of my meals into my bigger cooler, threw in some ice packed, and called it a day. I'm being an iPad kid once again, eating my meal really fast. I was supposed to be gone 15 minutes ago, but we got caught up at the gym because we ran into somebody good, or not good. We ran into a friend and Chase is gonna be working and doing business meetings this Saturday, so it's a busy day for him. I'm eating. I need to remember not to forget these gifts because there was one time when I literally forgot one. I need to do a quick body shower and then get dressed and skedaddle on over there. So we're hopefully gonna make it by like 3.30ish. from listening to music because the lyrics just like hit so deeply. Not to be TMI, but your girl's gonna be on her period suit, so I think that's why I'm so like emotional right now. This one song called Never Really Know by Cameron Marlowe is like a smack in the face of the reality of like, yeah, you never know what's going on behind closed doors. And like one of the lyrics is, she was, it was talking about this woman who ended up dying in a really unfortunate way. And there was people, he was like, oh, they, thought she was doing stuff fine even though they haven't spoken words since 99 and I'm just like oh my gosh dude I don't I've heard this song a million times now I love Cameron Marlowe but wow I just I don't know why it's hitting so hard today but I'm curious comment below if you're like like that um maybe comment goosebumps if you have gotten to this part I'm curious I love doing little code words so comment goosebump goosebumps Anyway, I am now on the road. I'm taking time to reflect, think all the fun things in this one cup. Chase Tree Extract, I think is what it's called. And then I have Shark, which is a nootropic. I honestly put it in there for the flavor today. I really just didn't feel like drinking clean water and I was out of electrolytes and then my creatine. And then now that I also, like I thought of this after I grabbed a rain. <laughs> This is supposed to improve cognition and focus. I only drink energy drinks now when I'm driving because I do get really tired when I'm driving usually. Um, but we have about, yeah, an hour and a half until we make it to Natalie first and then we'll see the rest of the girls later. But we have their gifts, I did forget them. And I have all of my food packed, which you guys saw. I probably did a voiceover and then just some stuff to make it through the night and then come back tomorrow for church. Let's pull that. Oh my gosh, she just jumped out. Buddy! I love that color on you. Hi. Oh, look at your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so much. Oh. Hey, friends, we're vlogging on Natalie's phone because I didn't bring my camera or my phone. <laughs> Not all the food. Show me a little festive treat. <laughs> yeah, we have oh, pumpkin pie yogurt. Come, Come on. on now. Come on, I am so excited. So excited. <laughs> Card only, no cash, no cash back. Three. You shut it. I don't have one, but I'll hold oh. the curtain okay. really quick. The way this is so Give me 17 good. of them right now. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, mm. okay, with Mootopia. Fire. It was a trend with <laughs> Coke. Yeah. No, I'm a Dr. Pepper so gal. Good. I've always been a Dr. Pepper gal. I usually was doing the Diet Cokes and then one day saw this thing. It tastes like a melt, wait, what's it called? Root beer float? Yeah. Yes. But the Dr. Yes. Pepper, I think, is the new winner. Mm -hmm. I saw this TikTok that was like, I don't know what kind of doctor Dr. Pepper was, but I trust him <laughs> with my life. <laughs> also, as a quick little update ski, we have not had any other meals yet. However, we have snacked on some pickles. pickles. And one piece of okra. And yeah. a piece of okra, which I've never had before in my life. She had some okra. What do you rate the okra? It was pretty good. I, I feel like it was sweet. Okay. I need spicy. It wasn't cheap, maybe? It yeah. was an eight out of 10. Okay. Eight. Eight. Wow, that's high. I'm like, it was pretty good. Three. I freaking <laughs> eat that whole thing. Okay. Oh, we have some cucumbers with ranch, oh, lemon. Yeah. We'll show you the concoction later, but it's gonna be so good. Probably in like what, 20 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be dipping out, getting the mini bun cakes. Yeah. 
and then we're gonna go over there, have a little chill, it's gonna be fun the best. date night, and it's gonna be fun. But we Ooh. definitely need to get more stuffies there while it's like dark or something because I'm. Yeah. I was also you said, hey, God has funny timing. Um, <laughs> so um, like God has funny. But it was sitting up there on the end. Bro, what this is, is okay, uh -huh. fire. What would you rate it? Mm. Seven and a half, eight. Seven and a half slash eight. What, what do you rate it? Out of 10. Honestly, probably same. Yeah. I mean, with the chocolate chips. So this is a cucumber concoction. It doesn't look as appetizing anymore because we literally demolished it, but. So oh yes. Good. I'm gonna Hold try. on. It is very pumpkin spicy. Yes. We love it. Out of 10? I would give that a 10. Oh! Oh! Oh, wait. Thank <laughs> you. Okay, I thought I was. Dude, dude this dude, woman. <laughs> like, okay. Pod shots all the can time. Can you. Ex that's her own milk. So, this is whole milk because 13 grams of protein. I also think I'm going to be doing the animal, the animal based diet because Sam's has grass fed, Ready grass finished sirloin. Oh, oh yeah. Aesthetic. Yeah, I put like a tiny bit of oh, that's fire. so brown pretty. sugar. Brown sugar. Look at how much freaking cream cheese. This is unwell. This is literally. Is that's what I'm saying. Do they charge me for this? Because this is like the whole Philadelphia. <laughs> literally. Honestly, you understand. That's like guys always get better service. Twelve ounces worth of cream cheese. I got a iced americano with a pump of mocha. Splash half an ounce, and I put three stevia in here because it was a little too espresso y. That looks like a lot of milk. It does look like a lot of milk. <laughs> three shots and sugar free caramel and sugar free vanilla with oh, wow. some milk. Is it hot? Can I try it, Sophie? That definitely is very milky. Okay. Yeah, it definitely tastes the sugar free, like. Yeah, I need Yeah. I for a splash of half an ounce. That's not mine. <laughs> this is mine. Having breakfast. We are having breakfast. <laughs> for those my protein shake. Listen, I tell my clients this all the time. If this. they want to be on track with their goals, it is completely socially acceptable to bring in your own meals. Literally, right. our stack no shame. Let's go. Stack and jack. <laughs> we are stack <laughs> and jack today, ladies and gents. Blueberry muffin. Ooh. So From a company important. that we cannot discuss. <laughs> Bro, hold on. Can we just look at it the stage on your I don't think I'm anymore. Wow. We got, is that chicken sausage? Yep, chicken sausage. Uh, chicken sausage and, and fruit. fruit. Y'all know my usual. What did you get? Sausage, eggs, hash browns, oh. and pancake for Jackson. Aw, oh, we did it. <laughs> I love it. We love it. And then we got protein shake. Very <laughs> exciting. Protein shake. <laughs> Solid dig in, ladies. <laughs> Alrighty, friends. So it is a few days later. So much has happened. And unfortunately, I'm not even kidding you. Like two minutes when I got on the road, I ended up getting hit by another vehicle. Obviously, we are all fine. We are all safe. He's fine. He's safe. I'm okay. No injuries were involved, but it was a pretty good hit. Um, he was super compliant. It was an old guy. I kept telling Chase, like, I can't be mad at him because he was just so nice about the situation and like things happen. Just like, thank God that we're safe. Overall, that is how I stay on track while I want to hit some fitness goals. I am now actually adopting the animal based diet for the most part. So I'm not eating rice anymore or any more like rice cakes. We're just having like straight fruit, which I'm really excited about. But anyway, if you guys want to keep up with me, definitely check me out on Instagram and TikTok because I'm posting on there a lot more frequently. And I am working on something super fun and exciting for y'all. I'm going to be giving away over $1.5,000 worth of things. And I'm really excited to be announcing what this whole ordeal is. Keep an eye out on Instagram for that. But thank y'all so much for watching. I love you and I can't wait to see y'all in my next video.